Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Steve from Rockstar Eater coming to you with another rocket episode. I'm out here in Pasadena today because I'm gonna be continuing on with my Asian food tour in LA covering all the best Asian hotspots in this city. And I'm at another exciting place today. I'm actually gonna be trying Himalayan food for the first ever time today. <laughs> yes, I, I don't even know what Himalayan food is like. Uh, there are a few of these restaurants in Los Angeles and I'm here at the highest rated one you can find in LA called the Tibet Nepal House here in Pasadena. Heard they got really awesome food. Nepalese, Tibetan, uh, Indian influences, all of that comprises Himalayan cuisine and I heard that this restaurant does it the best. So if you guys want to see what Himalayan food looks like then you must stick all the way to the end of this episode so that you can discover with me the first time what Himalayan cuisine is like especially here in Los Angeles. And also if you're new to this channel take a moment right now to hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell because I put out these food videos weekly you don't want to miss out on a lot of awesome food stuff coming your way. So while you're doing that right now, I just got to this restaurant. I see it. I like what I'm seeing so far. So I'm going to go in and get me some food. This restaurant is started since 2001. It's pretty long, almost like in 21 years. Uh, our friends established that one and then we just took over in you know, 10 years before. And then we are doing very well. Uh, this restaurant is pretty uh, good and then the special, specialized because we got the food from all the way from the Himalayas, Nepal, Tibet, and then herbs and then some uh, the spices. Most of these comes from the Himalayan country. And then we are giving a good service around the Pasadena pretty long. And then we are the, I believe, the first Nepalese Tibetan restaurant in Southern California. Himalaya itself is not a country. It is a mountain region that stretches from the west part, which is Pakistan and India, all the way to Tibet and Western China, about 1,500 miles. So there's a, quite a few countries that are in between. So that's why when you come here, you look at the menu and you see the food, you're gonna see a lot of different influences. Nepal, Tibet, even Indian. Sounds so great, doesn't it? This one is their chicken tikka masala. Now this one is very popular in exclusively Indian restaurants as well, but here it kind of has like its own little twist to it. Chicken breast cooked in tomato and onion creamy sauce and Himalayan spices. That sounds great. And you cannot forget about the vegetables when you're here at this restaurant because I heard they got a lot of great vegetarian dishes. This one, alu gobi. Alu gobi, which is a purely vegan dish potatoes and cauliflower cooked with tomatoes onions and himalayan spices all cooked to perfection another vegetable dish going on here this is the palak paneer which is homemade cheese cubs cooked with parade spinach seasoned with himalayan spices yes for the spinach lovers this is your dish right over here now this one is quite something. This is what's called the momo, which is one of the most popular foods that you'll find in the Himalayan regions. You can find it just about anywhere from restaurants to snacks. And I decided to get mine in two different flavors. One is the yak. You ever heard of that? The yak, which is a, a buffalo, basically some sort of a land buffalo that's over there in the Himalayan region. And I also decided to get the chicken as well. And the dipping sauce has a lot of different spices going on in there. It has this good firmness to it. You can tell it's pretty fresh. And the inside, you know the yak. I'm trying to think about how this thing tastes like. I know that there's a lot of spices all around the yak inside of it, so I do taste a lot of that spice. Is it like kind of like ground pork or ground beef? Something like that. Yeah, but it's actually pretty good. I think you'll like it. Okay, then chicken, I think it should be pretty obvious how the chicken one tastes like. Yes, this one I think is going to be more predictable. Whoa. Okay, so it looks like the filling just kind of came off. Yeah, this one tastes a little bit more like a chicken, but very seasoned chicken. And by the way, it does come with a lot of rice as well. And this is especially handy if you're going to eat more of like the curries or the chicken tikka masala and anything that's creamy, basically. I'm gonna get a good scoop of all of this. What is this, like a basmati rice going on here? Which looks very delicious, by the way. 
And where should I go with first? Okay, maybe what I'll do is go with the the aloo gobi first, this purely vegetable dish that has this beautiful orange color inside of it. This, like I said once again, is a vegetarian dish with cauliflower and some potatoes and a lot of wonderful spices. It's making me salivate just looking at it. And it's not that spicy too. Very interesting spice. Oh, it tastes good. I love potatoes, I love cauliflower, so this is my dish right here. I'm trying to analyze what exactly does the sauce taste like. It's not too thick, a little bit on the runny side. It's not exactly like a curry either, but from what I understand, based on what the menu tells me right here, some of the common Himalayan cuisine spices include cardamom, jimbu, garlic, ginger, cumin, uh, timbor, turmeric, saffron, and sesame. Maybe we got some of that going on in here. If that sounds like a good flavor profile to you, I think you're gonna like this. Chicken tikka masala, which I said is very popularly found in Indian restaurants, but here they have the unique Himalayan spices going on. It's creamy, it looks so delicious. That's why I know that this is something that I am going to absolutely love. That thing is delicious. It's so creamy and it's kind of sweet too. I didn't actually expect that. It has a delicious sweet flavor to it. Oh, it's so hearty. So chicken tikka masala, something when you order, definitely you eat it with the rice because it goes well together as an awesome combination. You cannot miss out on it. Mmm, that paneer looks really good. Very creamy, like a cream spinach. There's that cheese curds that's inside of it as well. So going to get a little bit of everything. This is a good dish, yes. Wow, this is a good dish. Spinachy, creamy, and has a little bit of that kick of spiciness to it. And that cheese curd, man. If you love cheese, the combination with this and the vegetables, you're going to love this one. Oh, it has my thumbs up, man. Mm. For the chicken lovers, this is something you're definitely gonna like. This is the Himalayan tandoori chicken, which is tender chicken leg, and it's cooked overnight, marinated in Himalayan spices. Yes, it does look like a Indian tandoori chicken, but the way they present it here is pretty cool. Look at all of these legs. They give you some lime, and I do recommend you put some lime on top of it in order to give it that nice sour flavor. Wow, yeah. It's tender, it's pretty moist. If you guys have never had a tandoori chicken before, it's India Himalayan's version of barbecue chicken. It's definitely very tasty. It's smoky on the outside. And if the chicken quality is good, it's supposed to be juicy and tender inside. This is one of those dishes, especially if you love chicken, you can't go wrong with. If you are in a Himalayan Indian restaurant, this is one of those things that everybody loves to get. And I love to get it. I'm pretty sure you guys would love to get it as well. So I definitely recommend this if you love barbecue, tender chicken, Himalayan style. Oh, dude, look at this one. This one is truly a standout on the menu that I heard is very popular here at this restaurant. Definitely an authentic Nepalese food. This is the thali. The, so for this one, I decided to get the non-vegetable thali, which means you could get a choice of chicken curry, masala, lamb curry. I decided to get the lamb curry for today because I like lamb, especially when I go to these kind of restaurants. And it comes with a few different things on it, such as the, uh, the let's see, the lentil is this one. Yes, this one is the lentil and that is like some sort of a pickle. And of course it comes with some rice as well. And then this one is eggplant. Isn't that pretty nice? And you can eat it however way you like, but usually you would take the bread and uh, you could take off parts of it and dip it into the different meats and the vegetables going on here. So I think I'm gonna start by trying this lamb curry. I love the curry taste of it. Very similar to like Indian curry, I would say. 
Definitely not like Japanese curry or Thai curry. That same spice-driven dark color of Indian curry. Same thing with this one as well. And like I said, with the meats, you don't have to go with lamb. You could go with chicken. Comes with two different choices. You could go with shrimp. But I decided to go with lamb because that's an adventurous thing to eat. You don't eat lamb too often. Okay, what about some of this eggplant? Time to go vegetable mode right now. I always love me a good eggplant, so that is delicious. If soft, it melts in your mouth, and it's kind of sweet too. Some of these lentil, wow, it's almost like a lentil soup in some ways. That's pretty cool. Wow, I like that. Definitely soupy with that lentil flavor. Bread in there, it's perfect. Oh man. Yak meat sauteed with green chili, bell pepper, onion, tomato, and Himalayan spices. Never seen anything like this before. Mmm. <clears throat> this is my first time having yak meat. It tastes kind of like pork in some ways. It does take a little work chewing into it. If you don't know what a yak is, it's some sort of a, like I said, a land buffalo. They don't have too many of those here in the U.S., but over there, it's like common to eat that, I guess. Okay, so yeah, I think that's the best way I can describe what it tastes like. It tastes kind of like uh, pork, basically. But it doesn't have that porky flavor. This has that very interesting, like a stir-fried chili flavor inside of it. But then, of course, you do want to get some of the vegetables in order so that you can balance out your health a little bit. Mmm. Wow, I love it. This dish is pretty sweet. Nice sweet meat right there. I bet you guys have never seen this one before, right? This is the Tibetan bread. This is different from a Indian naan bread because this one is like a deep fried whole wheat flour bread. Look at the color, dark brown. Wow, this thing breaks apart pretty easily. It's kind of crispy on top as well. I'm gonna dip into the sauce that's kind of like a green sauce. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be really good. Man, this thing is tasty. It's definitely very different than the naan, for example. Because it has more of that grain wheat flavor and it's crispier too, kind of like that deep fried texture, I would say. I like it. Man, this, yeah, I like it a lot actually. Oh. Man, I feel like I can just sit here and just eat this bread all day long. Even without the dip, it tastes really good. Mmm. You know, some of the dishes that I really loved here, obviously chicken tikka masala. I mean, who doesn't like chicken tikka masala, right? That's a definite must get here. The breads here, such as the uh, Tibetan bread is a must get here as well. I would highly recommend it, especially if you love whole wheat bread that's uh, crispy. And the thali is also, it tastes good and it's quite a sight for the eyes too. So you definitely need to get that. And uh, the paneer is really good. The gobi was really good as well. I mean, it's like you get good meats and you get good vegetable dishes here too. And that's really what I love about, especially Indian food. And here, you're gonna get a whole variety of stuff to choose from. So if you're in the Pasadena area and you're looking for something very adventurous, something you can't find in too many parts of LA, then I would recommend come to the Tibet Nepal house because this is one of few restaurants in Los Angeles that specializes in authentic Himalayan cuisine. Yes, so if you're an adventurous eater, come here. And if you don't know what else to get, you're not, you're not really that sure, then just get what I got because what I got here are really the most popular foods that are on the menu. So if you get all of these, then you're pretty much going to be taken care of at this restaurant. So remember that, Tibet Nepal house here in Pasadena. All right guys, so before I close out this episode, I want to give a shout out once again to the owner Roz and also the owner Dinku here at Tibet Nepal house. And just to let you guys know that if you mention that you saw this episode to them when you're here, you're gonna get 10% off your bill. Isn't that so exciting? So get your butt down here to Pasadena, try this awesome food here, and they're gonna take really good care of you, right guys? Yes. And more secret things to it for you guys. Okay, more yeah. awesome stuff for you uh, guys. 
Okay, well, anyways, thank you so much for watching this episode, guys. If you like what I'm doing here, thank you. give me a thumbs All up. Right. Also, you. comment on the section below if you've tried this food before. We, I'd like to hear your story. And also, please subscribe so you can get these episodes weekly. Well, anyways, I hope you have a rocking day today and that you'll try some of this rocking food here at this restaurant sometime soon. And be sure to check out the other videos on my screen so they can see some of my other LA food adventures. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank, thank you. you.